What's going on everybody? My name is Pixel Pete and I'm a Pop Chugi animated character made for Anime Studio Pro or Moho Pro 12. Um, really easy to use. I don't have any bones, but uh, you can move me around like this. And I also have a couple of actions like running and jumping and a bunch of facial expressions and hands. So yeah man, check me out. What up? It's Dashy, and welcome back to Old School Sunday. Today we're gonna play some f Mega Man because I f love Mega Man. Dashy, how much do you love Mega Man? Hey, I'm glad you asked. Let me show y'all something. Let me. Y'all see this? Yo. Can y'all see it on the cam? Watch this. I could charge up. I could charge up like the Drake track. Look, look. Alright y'all, let's uh, hold on. Let me turn this. <laughs> Yoshi! I don't wanna hear it, okay? Yoshi, he's the dude, okay? He's that dude. Donkey Yo Lin, let's do this! Calm the f down with that sword! What happened if you cut your pretty ass face? Nobody gonna wanna play your shit no more! Okay, y'all. Guts man. Let's go. Around! What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out my uh, Pixel Pete uh, character. Um, obviously it's a sprite character based on Mega Man, uh, Capcom's game for the NES. And um, just wanted to show you really quick some of the features. It's really simple. Um, I know I said in the uh, beginning that I didn't have bones rigged to it, but then I figured I should just do that because it is actually a lot easier to have the arms um, have bones in them. So you can grab the uh, arms themselves and then there are also switch layers for the different hand positions. It's doing a little staying alive thing going there, on there. Um, and uh, the head is also on a bone or connected to a bone so it's easier to animate the head tilting back and forth. And then also You'll notice this body's uh, bone right here. That's actually for the running. If you uh, turn that, you'll see there are uh, running poses. Uh, I redrew the uh, body positions and you have to turn the arms off so you can actually see that. So here's the running and then the jumping positions too. But you don't actually have to use those. So if you're animating with the character and um, you want to have him run, just go up to the actions under uh, window actions and then just in the timeline just click on uh, run and insert copy and it'll just put those frames in there for you and hide uh, his arms um, oops let me move that over so if you're animating and then you need it to run he'll just switch over to that same with um, running or jumping so let's go back to default stationary pose that basically just resets the character back to its original position. Then if you click on jump and insert copy, it'll, it'll jump for you. Other than that, you can control everything else with these bones over here. So we have, like I said, the arms. If you hit T and just move those around, um, you can pivot those arms if you need to. Um, you can even grab them if you want and move them around um, if you really need to position the arms in a crazy way. And then we do have a full set of mouths, so let me go back a little bit. So we have, um, you know, the A-E-I-O-U, or f the phenomes, I think they're called. So the, just fancy name for mouth positions. Um, and then we have eyebrows. 
The eyebrows actually are just another layer on top of the eyes because the eyes have, instead of putting bones in the eyes, I just have different positions where he's looking over to the um, right, hard right, uh, up, up, uh, left, up right, and down. So you just have to cycle through these to have the different eye positions. And then the eyebrows are just a covering, so um, there's none when it's straight up, and then there's eyebrows that appear up here, and then is blink, and then also half closed, closed a lot, uh, squinting, um, squinting hard, <laughs> angry, and worried. Um, eyes with his eyelids um, at the top opened, and this one's kind of just stationary, or kind of bored, I guess. Oh, and then there's uh, anime, kind of happy face, and then a black eye. So it's quite a bit, actually, uh, for this little character. Um, also, um, just so you guys know, if you're in the timeline, going to frame one, you can actually, everything has style, uh, color styles to it. So if you want to change the hair, you can come in here, click on that, change the hair color. You can change the skin tone and click on that. Um, I even have styles for the eyes, so if you want to make like a zombie character, you can change the skin color to like a pale green, and then change the eye color to uh, red or something like that for a zombie. Um, you can change the pupil color like that. And everything is still, um, since it's in styles when you animate, um, all the arms change colors, all of the mouths change colors, so it's um, still ready to use even with all that. Um, and let me go back a little bit and reset the colors. Go back, back, back. And um, let's see. Yeah, you can change the, oh, shirt, obviously. You can change that. You can change the uh, shoe color too and the shorts. So let's see if we can get that kind of Bart Simpson color scheme going on. What's he got? Uh, uh, short shirt color. I think he's got kind of an orange. Orange and blue and I don't, I don't know. But you can change the colors anytime you want on the fly. Really easy to use, like I said. Um, um, if you need to reset the colors, just go into one of the um, pieces of artwork and you'll see the color change. It's this little kind of weird shape. So select, oops, <laughs> not the arm itself. Select those keyframes and delete it and then go through your other styles and find those and you can just get rid of the uh, color styles. And I think that's it. Very simple to use. Um, I also included the dashy um, animations that I did. Uh, that's Those are animations that I did um, for a YouTuber that I uh, watch and um, I just wanted you guys to see how I actually use this character in an actual animation. So that's why that's there. Um, I censored out the cussing just uh, in case there's uh, youngsters, little ones uh, watching this. So. Um, but I wanted you to see how it actually works and how you can use it. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below or uh, send me a Facebook message. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.